in uh, yeshiva with uh, Jeff in Israel, and I went out with uh, my dad and one of uh, his cousins to uh, dinner in a, in a nice restaurant, and uh, I didn't wash for hamotzi. And so my cousin, who was a firm guy, he goes, I don't understand, why do you wash for hamotzi? You've been in yeshiva all year long. Don't you know you have to go wash for hamotzi? And he says to me, he goes, are you a boy or are you a girl? You've got to make up your mind. You have to make a decision. <laughs> so, so it turns out there's an Arabic proverb that precedes this example, and it's about the ostrich. And they say about the ostrich that it's described as a camel bird. And so the uh, birds come to the uh, ostrich and they say, listen, fly. And the ostrich goes, but I can't fly, I'm a camel. And then the camels come to the ostrich and they say, listen, carry stuff. And, and the ostrich says, no, I can't carry anything because I'm a bird. So it's the same idea that you can't live in two worlds, you gotta make a decision. <laughs> so if you look at, it's like a whole Hasidic idea of, of this Parsha, there's this constant refrain of God hardening his heart, God hardening his heart. And, and the rabbis take this whole thing and they try to justify it, figure it out, because free will is supposed to be the foundation of everything in our humanity, our religious choices. And so I was thinking that the idea of the hardening of the heart, I heard yesterday uh, um, Rabbi Top said, the idea is that the pressure from the people around Paro was going to be so great to let the people go that he wouldn't be able to actually make a choice. So the hardening of the heart was kind of resisting the people around him so he could make a choice. So that's a, it's a good idea, I like it. So I'd say for us, here's a thought, that um, it says at the end of the Parsha that Paro actually got up after the firstborn all, all over Mitzrayim died. So it actually means he went to sleep knowing that there was gonna be the 10th tenth, tenth plague that his son was gonna die, and yet he still went to sleep because Paro had this God complex. And each time it says he it's it, to me it's the idea that God's bringing in another uh, breaking or chinking in the arm or something like that in order to get Paro to overcome this God complex. And we all have this kind of God complex and we are making decisions to do the right thing or the wrong thing. And, and hopefully the idea is that we don't have to descend to the level of Paro to have that kind of pressure put upon us like these 10 plagues in order to finally realize you've got to let the people go or let the bad things go. So that's the blessing for today. Thank you. Sure. I'm <laughs> <laughs>